Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on Legacy SMP. So I just went to craft some more of these pumpkin pies and it reminded me that our crafting tables keep getting stolen. So we have no crafting table in this room and we have no crafting table up here in this house either. So that's not great and we need to try and do something about it. We also have this here. It just kind of appeared so I guess we'll have to investigate it at some point. But for now let's make a lot of crafting tables. I have a plan to catch the thief and part one is to lure them out using crafting tables. So we're going to place these all around our base including spots where they belong and spots where they definitely don't. We have a lot in plain sight but we can also have some that are a little bit more hidden. We'll put one over here maybe under the sheep and we'll make a little stack right here. Perfect, hopefully that'll be enough to lure the crafting table thief over here. Our next step, we'll need a watchtower so we can see them coming. It needs to be high up enough to see all of our area so we don't want it down the hill. Somewhere over there, ooh, maybe where those dark oak trees are. Let's go have a look. Oh yes, I like this spot. If we were up a little bit higher, we'd be able to see our starter house and all the way around here. I'm gonna take down these oak trees and we can build our watchtower right here. There we go. Now let's get building. go the watchtower is complete we might want to devise a way to get up to the top of it but the interior is quite small i'm not sure if it'll fit stairs oh maybe it'll be fine kind of okay now that we have a way of getting up and down we just need a little bit of lighting up here i think i'll add these fancy stair decorations to each side with a lantern Perfect, and of course phase three of our plan is to stand in our watchtower and watch. We want to keep a close eye on our area and see if anyone steals our crafting tables. There's five people online right now, but there's quite a few coming and going at this time of day. So I think this is our best chance if we're going to catch the thief. We'll turn our render distance up a little bit. Now we can see a little bit further out and all we need is patience. Probably a lot of patience. I'm going to sit here and multitask. Night has fallen, which is when thieves tend to come, but there's still no sign of anyone. Oh, except the mobs are spawning. Oh, zombie villager in full chainmail. I don't think he's after my crafting tables though. Is it you? No. Well, it's been many hours and our plan still hasn't worked. As you can see, all our crafting tables are still here, so either we have a thief who's too smart or just a thief who hasn't been around. All of these did give me one last idea though. What if we made so many crafting tables and placed them all around the server to make it almost impossible for them to steal all of them? If we make their job too difficult, then maybe they'll just quit their job. They're cheap to make, so I think it's worth a try. All we need is to chop down a few trees, like this giant spruce one. I wonder how many benches that'll get us. Oh, of course, that makes sense. A stack of logs makes a stack of crafting tables. We'll do that a couple more times. And we're ready for our mission. I've only got two rockets left, so rather than flying, we'll take Blossom. Come on, Blossom. I think our tactic will be kind of random. We can just put crafting tables at any base that we come across. I guess we can start with this tent over here. It's only a small area, so maybe we'll just put one here, one in the floor somewhere, like here, and a couple on the roof. Boop, boop. Lovely. I don't want to steal any supplies, so the leftover wool can just go in here. Okay, on to the next. Wait. Where'd my horse go? Blossom? Hello? Oh, you scared me. Don't run away. Right by the tent, we've got a little community storage area in here. So I guess we'll leave some 
somewhere. Let's spam a big pile in this room since there's not a lot going on in here. Then we'll put one in here, maybe one in this weird little gap, and we'll do some outside here. Next we'll visit the bases over here. I think this one might be Pixel Bros. Oh, and he's already got quite a lot. Interesting. Oh, ow. I guess I'll just leave a couple here then. Maybe right in the entrance. And right by this house over here we have Bowtie Daniel's little house and wagon. A perfect spot for some crafting tables. Maybe one right here. And I was about to say one in the tree. There's already a stone cutter in here for some reason. That's an odd thing to have up a tree but I guess we can have a crafting table as well. Hmm, he likes his stone cutters. I also just noticed this up here. Ulraf ate something. Blossom, you stay here. I'm gonna go investigate. I really wish I had rockets. Oh, and we're not wearing our snow boots. Oh, what's this? Looks like a little bee farm. They have a crafting table, so that's good to see. Maybe some can go in here. And I'll place a couple near the sign. It seems to say Ulraf ate bamboo. Don't know if I understand. I placed a few more and next we're off up to the Frog Queen's castle. I'm trying not to show this green thing because it might be a spoiler. How do I get past maybe this way look at how beautiful this is though it's absolutely insane i love it so much let's get you tied up we'll put some crafting tables down and we're gonna have to have a look inside it's so pretty this is so beautiful she's building with quartz and amethyst which are two of my favorite blocks i don't even want to wreck her amazing interior by putting crafting tables everywhere i don't think crafting tables are very fitting inside i think we'll stick to putting them on the outside mission achieved you're welcome i feel like a crafting table fairy is that what i am i'm gonna go with that Wait, wait, wait. I just about missed an excellent opportunity here. We need to apply a fairy texture pack. Ta-da! I'm the crafting fairy. Look at my elytra. And my adorable armor. It's all flowers now. I'll put the texture pack in the description and let's continue our job. Next, we left Blossom at the bottom of the hill and we're heading up to Mr. Matt Ranger's beautiful castle here. It could do with some of these though. Wow, this is so cool. Is that a horse? Chuck. Hello Chuck. What's in here? It's a storage room and it looks like his hasn't been stolen from here. Ooh, pretty bedroom. It's definitely missing this though. I think that'll do for here. On to the next. Ooh, hello horses. How would you like a gift from the crafting fairy? You can have one gift each. Hey, what's this? Is there another crafting fairy here? There may be. I guess we can still leave a little mark of our presence. Now we've reached Seb's Valley. She seems to live around this little village here. And that, I believe, is her starter storage area. <laughs> Look at those little blazers. I love that. I do think her wheat field looks like it could do with a little something. Like this. Is there already a table in here? Don't think there is. We can fix that. These goats can have one. And we'll head up here. I'm hearing lots of parrots. Whoa, <laughs> there's a lot of parrots here. There's one of every color. This corner is actually kind of chaotic and I kind of like it. Let us add to the chaos. Our final location we'll be blessing today is our neighbor Wax Fraud's house. Wow, this area is really pretty. He has his own island and it's looking insane. Wait, there's a crafting table in the path. Hmm, perhaps a mark of another crafting fairy? Just like how we saw one in a tree earlier. Still, I think we shall bless this house with more. Maybe lots in the trees. I think that's a fun idea. It's the island of crafting trees. Yep. It's a rare variant of azalea tree. Lovely. And I have an idea for anyone that I might have missed who needs more crafting tables in future. I would like to make a fairy circle, which I know might seem a little bit random, but if fairy circles summon fairies, and if we encourage the use of fairy circles, then maybe if anyone else is short on crafting tables, they can use a fairy circle to summon a fairy to replenish their supply. It kind of makes sense to me, and I'm not going to lie, I also just want to make a fairy circle because it sounds really cute. I think our little starty area on this hill here is just about done, but it could do with something in the middle here where this pokey out bit of dirt is. I think we'll grab our dirt and we'll make a little platform coming out for our fairy circle. So, something like this. We'll have it kind of curve around in a bit of a half circle shape, like so. Then we'll line the edges with logs and strip them. Of course, we'll need pillars to hold this up and we'll work in some crimson wood so that it matches our other builds. We'll add some trapdoors for detailing and then I think that'll be the foundation done. 
Now we just have to make the circle. We can use the flowers that we have growing in this area. And then I'd like to use some mushrooms. The only ones I have are these ones from the nether. So they will have to do for now. And I wonder if this stuff will look good mixed in. They're kind of magic looking. You know, I kind of like this combo, it's cute. I'm just gonna grab some leaves and grass to decorate around the outside. Oh, we need lily of the valleys too. They're so pretty. Then we'll add these pretty azalea leaves. Some of them can kind of come down from these pillars and wrap around a bit. Then final touch, some pieces of grass. Maybe some in the middle. Let's take a look. Oh, I think it's kind of pretty. And from a distance, yep, I like it. It's cute. And I think that's all we've got time for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and a comment. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.